back Cause somebody stole it and put it in your head Hey guys, what's going on? How's it going? I'm keep asking this. Let's just stop that right now. What's happening? It's Meshi with Pat to Wellness with Meshi. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I hope you're keeping warm. I hope you're prepared for this winter. We keep going back to the whole weather thing. I'm not sure why. It's just somehow a shocker that it's cold in Canada. It's not a surprise, everybody. So in today's video, finally, I have talked to you about this last week. So I thought that now it's time for part two of talking about the law of attraction and actually finally doing the DIY where we can create our own vision board. So if you have completely missed my last video when I talked to you about some of the categories that we can include onto our vision board, what the law of attraction is all about, I will just leave the link down in the description so you can actually check that out. Such a fun video, oh my goodness. So I will show you a couple of different options of how you can actually set up your vision board. I will show you at least minimum of two. And the third one, I'm going to see if I can find one here at home, but if I can, I'll just like pop a picture up here. But if you wanted to see how we can create our very own vision board, now after all this long, long intro, then just stay tuned and let's get started with the video. So first of all, like here's a brief overview of what the actual vision board is like, why would you want to really create this besides just, you know, we're going to fully satisfy our craft craving today. But beyond that, the reason why you would want to create a vision board, if you haven't seen my previous video, honestly, it just has to do with basically managing your environment and creating visions and creating images and things that actually support some of your goals. The emotions that you would like to evoke, how you want to feel, and how you actually envision yourself of who you really want to become if you're not already that. But you are already that, you just have to act like you are. You know what I mean? Basically, it's all about just managing your, not only your conscious mind, but also your subconscious mind as well, in a way that it really supports your dreams, it supports your goals, and that's sort of where the images and certain words and things like that really come into hand because that way, in an, in an unconscious way or in, an, in a way that you might not fully realize, the longer you have a vision board and the more you're looking at it, the more you're actually conditioning your mind so that it can start, you start acting from that place. So that's sort of the whole idea behind it. Obviously, I go into a little bit more into detail in the previous video, so definitely check it out if you have missed it. But for today, I don't want to talk to you too, too much about it. If you want, I will also add like little tidbits of information as to why I'm adding certain things to it. This is sort of going to be just an overview of how I would set up mine. Keep in mind that yours will look one, it'll look totally different than mine. Two, you're going to be drawn to different elements, different colors, different different words, different themes. So make sure that you give yourself plenty of time. You create that vibe, that environment where you're actually feeling good, you have enough energy, and you are totally up for it. If you're already feeling anxious as I'm telling you about it, then it might not be the best time for you to visit this project because honestly, it doesn't take very long, but it definitely prompts you to ask some serious questions as you're gathering some of your images and then as you're sort of looking at different areas. And if you get overwhelmed very easily, then just be gentle with yourself, especially for the month of February. That should be your theme, just, just to be a little bit more gentler with yourself so that you give yourself plenty of time, you put on amazing music that really inspires you, puts you in an awesome mood, and you're really up for doing that. So, what will you need? So some of the supplies that you will need is, I will just, again, just show you like a quick snapshot of it here, but you will obviously need a board. We're, keep in mind, we're doing a physical vision board. We're not creating a digital one because honestly, you can do that in like two minutes. It's not that big of a deal. I will show you how to do like the physical vision board that's going to be on your wall and it's going to be somewhere visible that you can see every day. So I am going to be using literally, it looks like a picture frame and then it has sort of this fabric cover. I will show you a close up as I'm talking about this. And 
you can add little uh, push pins in there. You can also create your own if you have literally any old board that kind of looks like just something that you would be posting things to. It depends on how fancy you want it to get with it. It depends on how big you want it. Some people just want like a tiny one. Some people want like a large one or they're using some of the larger ones for the family. So then that way it's more family goals rather than just individual goals. You have to kind of just play around with it and see what suits your best needs. Another thing that you can also use is pegboards. Pegboards are excellent. Ikea has it super cheap and inexpensive. And what's great about it is that you can always kind of switch Either way, you can always switch things out, but I kind of like the fact that you can use it as an organizer and you can also add like little clips, which is what I have on mine. And you can also take away things, take away elements, but then you can also add things like paperwork and things like that, that you wanted to keep there. So if you wanted to just take a section of your pegboard so that that's designed as your vision board, and then the rest you wanted to use it for organization, you can totally do that because the sky is the limit as far as, you know, what are your options? Another option that you have available, which I haven't thought of until right about now, but you can also get some of these. See, like over here, I have sort of like a little shelf situation. But the thing is that you can also use these little clippies and you can just clip on them any of the images that you wanted to use. Personally, it's not my personal favorite because I think it can get kind of messy. But if that's all you have, then that's all you have. So, I mean, you really don't have to, the idea is not for you to run out and purchase just a picture frame or something just so that you can have a vision board. You will probably have some of these items lying around at your house. And it's more just about getting it done, you guys, rather than overthinking to making sure that it's perfect. You And I can say this, I can attest to this, because I made mine and I thought that I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty until I put it up and then I've been tweaking it and I've been adding things to it, taking certain things away that at first I thought that a certain quote really resonated. Other times I'm like, ugh, this does not work for me at all. So you will probably find that as time goes on and as the more often you're looking at it, you will probably have space on your board and that's totally fine because you want to have a little bit of space so that things can kind of move around and you can adjust things as you go. So this is all I wanted to share with you. Now let's hop on over to the DIY so I will meet you in my kitchen and then we can set everything up. Okay, so we're going to get started with a blank board. Basically, you definitely want to have a few magazines that you find inspirational around so you can kind of go through it. You will also need a pair of scissors and really just find colors, quotes, images that really capture your attention. And then that way we can kind of start cutting all of those pieces out that I think will be super helpful is you can just gather a few images from the internet prior to you getting started and just put them on like one page so that when you are ready to assemble everything all you have to do is just cut out those pieces so this is what you see here in the middle of the screen with I have a picture of crystals I have pictures of just color themes that I'm really drawn to places that I would like to visit and right now I'm just finding different quotes that really resonate but as you can tell I do have a couple of these pages that are ready to go that includes the quotes that I like and it includes just main words that I really want it to resonate and just imagery of just anything that I, f I could find that would really represent what I wanted to look at on a continual basis. And then once I have everything uh, cut out into pieces, then I can sort of start assembling them together. Okay, so I have everything cut up here. So now it's time to sort of it's sort of like a blank canvas. You just sort of start attaching them onto the board and go piece by piece here. So really this part is kind of self-explanatory, but if you're unsure what to do, then the idea is that the main pieces, the main elements that draw you in the most, you allow those pieces to stand out the most. But I always find that it's best to actually arrange everything first of where you want them before you start kind of taping them down or securing them onto your board. A friendly reminder, 
if you are attached to perfection, please don't because honestly, you will be changing your vision board as you go and things will change and certain quotes or certain images will not work for you after a while. And then certain images will become very clear and prevalent of where you want them and it's totally fine it's totally fine if you have free space as you can tell in the top left corner there is lots of space available for me and same thing with the top right corner so like i did leave a little bit of space everywhere and you know like i even found that with when i wrote pioneer like it's no longer even on my board because it doesn't work for me anymore or the word leader like i switched that out as well so certain things will end up changing and shifting as as you go in. and the more you look at it the more you will realize of what resonates and what doesn't anymore Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope you liked it and you got some value out of it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another video. If you are brand new here, I usually post a video here every Tuesday, Thursday, and once on the weekend. And we kind of go into a few different topics. We sometimes talk about DIYs and talk about spiritual practices and law of attraction such as this video other times we just sit down and bullet journal because that's what we need to do and other times we talk about which is one of my favorite topics is to talk about how we can manage our stress our anxiety and our overwhelm in a more holistic way so because we kind of go into a few different topics throughout the week you might not know when i'm going to be releasing what so to be conscious of your time and to help you out, what I have done is I usually release a recap email every single Sunday to my email community where I kind of break down some of the best takeaways from each of my videos so then that way you can kind of figure out if that's the one that you're interested or not. And I also show you the schedule for the following week so then that way you don't miss anything. If you wanted to sign up, link is down in the description. You can sign up, it's completely free and complimentary just to make your life a little bit easier. This is all I wanted to share with you. I hope you have yourself a wonderful day and keep seeking wellness seekers and keep shining your light because you're just so much more powerful than you think. And I hope that you enjoy your vision board and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye. Wow. He's back now. You can't see this, but he's right here. Can you see him? No. Don't worry, I will take a picture or he's going to be in the bloopers, but he decided to stay, which means he's going to be part of the video. So here's some behind the scenes footage. Well, first of all, this is where the microphone is. And yes, look at that setup. Like that's DIY taken to the next level. And then the class is here. Are you just here because you like the law of attraction? No, you are here because you wanted to jump in my bed and I said no, right? What do you have to say about that? Oh, you look so guilty. Is it because I made you famous in my previous video? Yes, it is. You troublemaker. Okay, say hi to YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. You're not even saying hello. That's just ridiculous. You look exhausted. Ugh. Bye!